Hey guys, welcome back. We are live in the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen. I'm Jeanette, this is my friend Grant. Hello. And happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week and we thought we were gonna start the weekend off with our favorite meal, brunch. I love brunch. <laughs> I love brunch. I think the reason we love this brunch too is because it's all make ahead, it right? It is. We've got tons of make ahead recipes for you guys today. We know it's the weekend, you probably got some entertaining to do. Um, brunch is one of my favorite meals to make. Um, Me so too. I am going to, we wanna hear from you guys. We wanna hear what are your go-to brunch items. Um, Rachel always says that brunch is the least expensive meal yeah. to have people over for. You know, the cost of eggs, the cost of bread, you know, just like basic brunch stuff is so inexpensive. So it's such a great meal to entertain with. So we want to hear from you guys. What are some of your go-to brunches? What are some of your favorite breakfast dishes? And we just want to say, say hi. We want to hear where you guys are from today. Yeah. Um, we've got timers going off. Grant's got such, such awesome. Are we starting off with that right now? Because yeah, I'm really, it just, smells so good. We want to hear like what your favorite brunch items are. This yeah. is my favorite brunch oh. item. I make this for brunch whenever um, I have people over. Um, this is a giant skillet sticky bun. I made this on the show a few years ago. Um, we're going to post this recipe later, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. This is basically pizza dough that I season with cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon and sugar. Underneath this is caramel with a bunch oh. of pecans. So yes, you just please. flip that onto a plate. This is the most difficult part. Do you need help? Let's see. We want to say hi Oops. to Ashley from Texas. Hi, Ashley. All right. How'd that go? It's the moment of truth. And Lynn commented and she said, happy Friday. Oh, oh my yes. God, it's perfect. Look at that. <gasps> Guys. It's a giant skillet sticky bun. I am bun. so lucky to be here And right now you now. just slice that up like cake. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, Jeanette's going to slice that up for us. Um, so while Jeanette's slicing that up, oh, I'm going to get started on a brunch beverage. Okay. Um, and this nece isn't necessarily just for brunch. I actually make this every Sunday. Um, and it's cold brew. Cold brew is super, super mm -hmm. popular right now. And you wouldn't know that it's so easy to make at home. I Plus didn't even use bun. a fork. It's so <laughs> good. Do you want to give it a try? Yes. Mmm. 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 That caramelization of the pecans. That's good. You guys have to make this. I've been watching him make it all morning, and I've been it's it lives up to its uh, height. So so good. Grand gooey sticky bun. Um, so over here I'm making some cold brew. Um, not only is it super easy to make, it's mm. super cheap to make at home. And if you buy this at a coffee shop, it's so expensive. We've been talking um, about cold brew all morning. It's so trendy right now. Yeah. Everyone has cold brew, and I feel like because it's trendy, people charge more money for it. And it's going to blow your mind how simple it yeah, is to so make. this is just an eight cup jar. I put in two cups of ground coffee. And now you just fill it up with water. Um, I have one back here that's um, full of water. And I let this brew in the fridge. You let it brew cold um, overnight. So now you strain it. There's two different ways you can strain it. I like to use one of these ceramic filters with a um, little paper filter inside of it. It makes mm -hmm. a nice, like, clean cup of coffee. You could also put some cheesecloth in a uh, sieve like this. Okay. And let it strain in the fridge. But I'm gonna mix this up first, I think. So this is just, you're just soaking the grounds in yeah. water overnight. Yeah, the coffee that you have at home, you can totally use. I like to use a medium ground coffee. If it's too fine, it's really hard to strain. And if it's too coarse, the it doesn't the coffee doesn't get very robust. Okay. So if you use a nice medium um, grind, but you wanna make sure it's a nice dark roast. Wow. So this is espresso roast coffee, oh. medium grind. You let it soak. Smells good. That's yeah. how easy it is. You know how, you know who, you know, our girl Rach always says, the two things she can't make are toast, which is why she keeps me around. I make all of her toast. I'm her stunt double for toast. And coffee. And yeah. actually, we'll have to tell her about this method. I'm sure she's heard of it, but yeah. it's so simple. She couldn't mess this one up. This is a coffee that this is I think Rachel would probably make. So, and it's, it's so hot outside right now. Who doesn't love a refreshing cup of yeah. iced coffee every and day? And another reason I love this, too, um, it's great for a crowd, but it's also great to make ahead of time. Like I said, you can make it on Sunday and drink this all week long and not it. have to go to the coffee shop. I love this. Such a money um, saver. So we can try so, it. So, so good. Yes, please. Let's do it. Um, before we try it, we want to say hi to Vonda from Nebraska. Hi, Hello, Vonda. Vonda. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday. Gina loves baked French toast. Gina, that's funny. Um, yesterday I made a peanut butter mm. and jelly French toast casserole, really which was some. so, so good. Um, and Crystal, Crystal, she read her mind. Biscuits and gravy are her favorite. And that's funny because Grant's about to make biscuits and gravy, I right? am. I'm going to make uh, <laughs> my twist on a bi biscuits and gravy. It's a biscuits oh. and gravy casserole that you can make a day ahead of time. Which you is know why cool. I love cold brew? And I'm not the biggest coffee drinker, but it goes so it goes down so smoothly. Like This is yeah. the kind of coffee that's going to give you a stomach ache. It's totally. just, it's so smooth. There's no bite to it. I really, I think you're like, you're changing the game with this, Melton. Nice. I really, really like this one. Um, I think another reason Jeanette and I love brunch is because it gives you, it's socially acceptable to drink before noon. So Jeanette is going to turn our cold brew into a drink, right? Why not? Why I thought not? so. You know, it's Friday, guys. We made it through the week. The weekend is coming. And I don't know about you, but I brunch is something I do every weekend with my friends. Yeah. And I'm going to say one of my favorite parts are the cocktails. So we're having people over for brunch again today. If you're just tuning in, we're showing you a bunch of make-ahead brunch ideas that you guys can use for the weekend. 
Um, but I always like to make brunch cocktails in a large amount, so I make them in a pitcher because then people aren't, um, you know, you're not having to make a ton of cocktails totally. for everybody. You should make a big pitcher of it. So I've got about two cups of Grant's beautiful cold brew, and I'm turning this into an iced Irish coffee Yum. because not only does brunch make it uh, socially acceptable to drink, it makes it socially acceptable to have whiskey totally. in Irish coffee. Um, Savannah from Wisconsin <laughs> is watching. Hello, Hi, Savannah. Savannah. And Thank Hunter said watching. he loves making uh, quiche because it's super easy and you can add anything you want to I it. I love a quiche. I'm actually about to show you a super simple frittata as well. I like a frittata is a little bit of a healthier take on a quiche, I feel. But yeah. I, I love making eggs because it's so inexpensive. Like, that's the part about it that I'm like, I'll have anybody over for brunch. You can you can make totally. a whole brunch meal for like 20 bucks. Speaking of having people over for brunch, we have people over today. Yes. My friend Anna, we have a, an audience we for the first have an time ever. Today. On the other side, <laughs> the camera my friend Anna's watching and my friend Becca's here too, yeah guys. so we both have a friend <laughs> Um, we both have a, a friend today. We're not alone. We're not each other's <laughs> only best friends. We actually do have other friends as Yay. well. Um, Jessica said she loves banana muffins. Jessica, oh, I love a muffin. I love banana muffins. Um, and Maria says, hi, Jeanette and Grant. Love watching you from Ontario. Hi, Maria from hi, Ontario, Maria. Canada. We love that. All right, guys. So I don't know. So this is actually inspired by um, my husband and I were in New Orleans a few years ago. And the best part, thank you for moving my whiskey out of the way. Um, the best part about New Orleans, it's such a beautiful city, so much culture, so many things to do um, but in New Orleans the liquor laws are really lax and you can drink on the streets in New Orleans and that's just oh, something that. you, yeah it's, so this is why you always <laughs> talk about how much you love New Orleans I, so. <laughs> I think I figured it out so when I, um, I went you go to coffee shops and it's really popular to spike your iced coffee any of you guys watching from New Orleans it's like yeah such a fun it's a fun city but so anyway so I got this I got this idea from that and who doesn't love an Irish coffee so in here I just put some milk and I sweetened it with a little bit of simple syrup and I put in Grant's cold brew so that's, it's so delicious and strong um, and in New Orleans they serve it in plastic cups because like I said you can kind of take it to go. So we're being really authentic today. Grant, will you grab me that whipped cream? Oh, I want to just ooh, there's whipped cream. There's whipped cream. Oh, yeah. No. If you're coming to brunch at my house, we spare, we spare no expense. Um, um, my dad commented and said that, um, uh, oh, he's reminding me that my mom taught me about oh, the cinnamon man. roll dough. Hi, you use pizza man. dough or like um, frozen bread dough, and you can just turn it into cinnamon rolls. Oh, my so, mom makes that for um, So good. Will you uh, pop year? some whipped cream on the top of those? Yeah. Um, and it, if, I mean, this is such a fun cocktail to make for your friends. I love it. And so you top it with a little bit of whipped cream, and then traditionally it just has a little bit of cocoa powder on oh, the top. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty, right? Yeah. Almost too pretty to drink. No. Nope. Almost. Um, Diana <laughs> from Boston is watching. Hello, Diana. Hi, Diana. Um, and Christy said she loves biscuits and gravy with a hot cup of coffee. Ooh, Christy. I'm about to make biscuits and gravy, and we yes, have a cold cup of coffee. And we got a cold cup of, cup of coffee, so cheers to you, Christy. Cheers. Happy Friday, Grant. Mm. Oh, Ooh, that's delicious. And it's like, you think of an Irish coffee, it's always like a really nice thing to have after dinner, but why not have it iced and drink it in the morning yeah. for brunch? <laughs> um, Josie commented, said she loves the Rachel Ray Show and the cooking crew. Oh, thank you, Josie. Um, and uh, I Yveth, Yveth. how do you say that name? Yveth. Yveth? Yveth. Well, good morning from Honduras. Good morning from Honduras. Hi, Honduras. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get oh. started over here making yes. a make-ahead casserole, like So I funny how saying. many people have commented already that biscuits and gravy are like their yeah. go-to, and you've got, he's, he's got this great inventive idea. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. Um, I grew up in the Midwest, and we eat biscuits and gravy every single week, and it's mm -hmm. like such a yummy, like, comfort food, and it's super easy to make. So in here I just have some breakfast sausage, and I'm going to add in a little bit of butter. Well, thank you, Vijay. I lost my name. <laughs> Kristen says that she likes chili relleno casserole and biscuits and gravy. So, Kristen, you can't miss this one. It's so good. I have chili relleno casserole. That's actually a really good that idea for a delicious. casserole. Because yeah. those are one of those things, too, that's like when you're making them for a lot of people, it's a little bit time consuming. So, I like the idea of yeah. doing that in a casserole. Oh, my gosh, Grant. Sirkin is watching from Turkey. Oh, hello, Turkey. Hello. Or Sirkin. <laughs> hello, Sirkin. Hello, Sirkin Turkey. from Turkey. <laughs> um, so, I'm just melting down some butter into my sausage. And I'm taking another sip of my Irish <laughs> iced coffee because it's so delicious. I just got sausage on your feet. Yeah, you did. Sorry. <laughs> and um, a reminder that all of these recipes are going to be up on the site a little bit later. Yeah. And we are right in the middle. We're starting the weekend early. It's Friday. Um, so if you're just tuning in, we are in the middle of showing you a bunch of really super simple kind of make-ahead brunch ideas to help you guys out for all of your entertaining this weekend. Yeah. Um, so to this, I just added a little bit of flour, um, and that's just going to thicken it up. We're basically going to make a roux um, with our sausage in here, and that's going to make a nice, thick gravy mm. for us. But you just want to cook out that flour a tiny bit so you get all that, like, I feel like if you don't cook it out, the sauce is really, like, gritty, like, yes. granular. Yes. You is that a word, granular? Granular, yeah. Wow. Grainy. That's a pretty big Good word. Job. For a Friday. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Maggie commented and she said she's making brunch for a crowd soon. What does she recommend? Maggie, we've got a ton of ideas here today that are great for a crowd. I'm making a frittata that'll feed an army. Grant's making a beautiful biscuits and gravy casserole. I made a big pitcher of um, Irish iced coffee, which would be great for a crowd as well. Make sure to come back to the Facebook page a little bit later and all those recipes are going to be yeah. up. Um, so I just seasoned this up with a little salt, pepper, um, some cayenne pepper, because I like my gravy to be a tiny bit spicy. Mm. Um, and I think that was it, right? I'm really kind of sad know. when you make these kinds of things that I didn't grow up in the Midwest, but I'm also <laughs> really happy that you're my friend and I get to try all these things Totally, now. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to keep stirring this up. I'm going to add our milk into here. And we're just going to bring that up to a bubble and let it get nice and thick. Um, oh, so that'll just take a so couple minutes. Good in here. And then what we're going to do is once that's nice and thick, we're going to put biscuits on top, yes, pop are. it in the oven, and you have a biscuits and gravy casserole. That's like a one um, pan, like you're not even dirtying tons of dishes. You know totally. how we feel about that. Yeah. Um, it's so, so yummy. Karina um, commented and she said that we should do a video about wings. Actually, Ooh. football season's coming up. Yeah. So that's actually a really good suggestion, Karina. And we love chicken wings. We lo I love chicken wings. I've got like a chicken wings, uh, I've got a chicken wings. Uh, weakness. Oh. Anytime like, they're there. I don't know where, you, <laughs> where are you, like going you have a chicken with wing this? in your pocket? Like, what are you talking about? I wish about? I did. I wish you did too. <laughs> um, Susan says that sausage, biscuits, and gravy are her kids' favorite. Well, Susan, try this because it smells delicious. Yeah, it smells good, right? Um, all right. So we're going to bring that up to a bubble. While that's going, do you want to get started sure. on your frittata? Sure. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> While I'm making my frittata. Um, so this is actually definitely one of my favorite ways to entertain with brunch is making a frittata because it's, as Rachel says, cheap and cheerful. So, um, oh, we're pouring more. I'm gonna make a cocktail for our friends. Oh, right that's now. nice. <laughs> um, so, this is my Florentine, uh, Florentine omelet. Florentine omelets are what I order at the diner, but I'm making a Florentine frittata to kind of emulate that today. And again, so it's gonna be um, what I do is I take a dozen eggs. And I'm going to name drop right here, so get ready for it. Uh, one of our really good friends at the show is Bob Harper. And oh, Bob. I we love, love Bob. Bob so much. It was just his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Bob. Um, and we miss you. We hope to see you soon. And um, so we always have this fight when he comes because, you know, eggs are so healthy and nutritious for you that um, I'm so trained to kind of just eat egg whites. And he gets mad at me when I do that because he says that you need the, the all the good stuff in an egg is in the yolk. So he gets mad at me. So we compromise, and I make my frittata with six egg whites and six, six egg yolks. Oh, that's a nice. So little, it's a nice I like little that. compromise. I thought. A um, I need a whisk. Can somebody back there hand me a whisk? Yeah. <laughs> it fell on the floor at some point. Thank you. <laughs> um, Brandy said, um, "Where is the scratch and sniff button?" Oh. Well. Come on, we're only in New York. Where are you? Come on over and hang out. Um, and Mimi said, um, I'm from Belize and I love your show. Oh, hi, Mimi. I Belize you. Oh Get it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Happy birthday to John Cusimano, oh, John's Rachel's birthday. hubby. Totally. Well, you know, you know who would love that? Is that mine or yours? I don't know. Who drank more? I can't even tell anymore. Cheers, John. He's, our, he's like our resident mixologist. He makes such great cocktails. We yeah. learned so much from him. I think John would approve of our iced Irish coffees today. What do you think? So too. Um, all right, guys. So I'm just whisking up my eggs. I added in like maybe three quarters to a cup of milk. Season with salt and pepper. Um, and one of my favorite parts, my another favorite reason of, make, of why I like to make frittata so much is that um, when you, it's kind of like a fridge empty out. Today yeah. I'm making it Florentine style, just because that's the uh, that's I, I, it's a style I really like eating my omelets and frittatas. Yeah. But if you've got like you know this time of year everyone's like so bogged down with zucchini and stuff from the farm and like such like you know tomatoes. I, I make this with tomatoes, onion, and spinach, yeah. and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of feta cheese in the end. So what you want to do is you want to just saute everything together, and then you're gonna pour the eggs over it, let it set for a few minutes, and then pop it in the oven. Um, Kelly said that she made a sausage biscuits and gravy casserole oh. once, and it was amazing. Um, Jeanette was just saying that you could pretty much you know throw anything you have in the fridge yes. in your frittata. Absolutely. Right? Speaking of throwing things from the fridge into something, oh, that was, that was a great segue. We Thank didn't you. practice that. <laughs> um, on Tuesday, Jeanette is going oh, to make God. a surprise 15 minute meal. If you guys watched a few weeks ago, so um, what we did is Jeanette asked you guys to share with us um, what some ingredients are that you want us to cook with, and mm -hmm. then Jeanette surprised me with those ingredients mm -hmm. and I made a 15 minute meal. On Tuesday, Jeanette is going to do that. Right? This was more fun when I was surprising you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun for me. Um, so, uh, comment uh, anytime. Um, yeah. Right now. Right now. It would be later. the best time. <laughs> but you can do it later if you want to go check out your fridge and see you know, see what you have in there, there yeah. you'd like Jeanette to cook with. Um, and let us know what ingredients I should surprise Jeanette with. Be easy on me, guys, please. <laughs> it can be anything. 
Um, and Deborah, uh, Deborah com- commented and said she makes biscuits oh. and the waffle iron. Ooh, we've yum. done that here. We lo- I love. Oh uh, yeah, we we've did. Waffle we did we, ago, we, we've yeah. made everything in the waffle iron. It's one of our favorite things to do. It's so yummy. Um, and Sarah said, "Have you ever had chocolate gravy?" No, I haven't. What is that, Sarah? That sounds delicious. Like dessert gravy? I oh. don't know. I know. Sounds interesting. Sounds lovely. All um, right, so I'm just sprinkling the top of this with feta. Shout out to our coworker VJ. VJ, come get your feta. <laughs> come on, VJ. Come get it. She's, She's been, been the eating the crumbles. She wants some feta. She's been eating my crumbles all morning. So I, so I think it's a five or six ounce container, but it's probably down to two or three after she's had at it. Um, so what you do is I just let it set in the pan, um, pull it away from the sides just a little bit, and I'm gonna pop this into the oven. And that's it. This bakes at like 400 for like 10 to 12 minutes. It is so simple. I'm gonna. Put this back here. Oh my gosh. Grant's casserole is out and looking insanely delicious. Thank you. This is my frittata. I baked it in the oven just for 10 to 12 minutes. It got nice and brown on top. And my favorite way to serve this is, and I said, like if you're making brunch for a crowd, it's always just, and it's so easy to make eggs just because you're not, um, I just need a napkin, thank you. It's not, you're not making like, somebody wants fried eggs, somebody wants scrambled eggs, somebody wants poached. If you're coming to my house, you're getting the frittata. Yeah. And this this will serve probably six to eight people, right? Probably. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing that you did. I don't Ooh, know. You're gonna flip it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Do you need help? Yay! <laughs> I think, doesn't that look really yummy? Yeah. And I, I added so much spinach to this. this. is a really nice opportunity to, there's sticky buns on my knife. We'll just wipe that right out. Um, it's a really nice opportunity to fill it with vegetables. If you know, you've got uh, picky eaters. Um, this is tons of spinach, a little bit of um, tomato, some feta. But again, anything you want to throw into your frittata. And you eat it like works. a pizza. You eat it like a little pizza. Look, isn't that yummy? You want a bite? Yes. <laughs> So far, everything so we've made today, you don't really need a plate. You don't need a fork either. Like... You can make it in advance, and you don't need plates and forks. Uh, Maggie asked, um, what sides would make this meal complete? Um, I was like a nice salad at brunch, mm-hmm. but um, I kind of felt like with the frittata, mm. I put so much spin. It's so nice and I fresh, right? I have tomatoes in there, too. I know, yeah. I didn't, I let, they're so good this time of year, too. Um, I always like a little bit of a salad with my brunch. Um, I don't know. I think the biscuits and gravy, you almost don't even need a side. That's kind of everything all in one, right? Totally, yeah. All right, so how's your gravy coming along? Um, the gravy looks good. If you want to check that out, it's nice and oh. thick now. Um, and since we browned up that sausage, the gravy gets really nice and brown. Super yummy. Yeah, um, so I'm just going to let that chill out, and we're going to make our biscuits to top Yes, I'm really excited because Grant, I always see him making biscuits in here, and I'm always a little jealous of his biscuit-making skills. So he's going to teach me and all of you guys today how to make his biscuits. I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm looking forward um, to getting messy because whenever you make these things, you're always a mess. I know. I like to do it with my hands. <laughs> yeah. It's more fun. It's more fun way. that way. Ash Mahan commented, hello, and they said that they would like us to do a recipe with tofu and veggies. I've got a few vegetarian-friendly uh, recipes. I'll find you in the comments later and post some of them. But um, I, I always like yeah, doing it. Yeah, you made more. a no-cook um, salad, right? With zoodles. With that zoodles? one time. Yeah, and it was just zucchini, which is tons of vegetables. It was so I like good. I just called it a no-cook salad. It's like, of course you didn't cook. It was salad. <laughs> it was salad. What would you cook? <laughs> and Sharon says hi from New Zealand. Hello, Sharon. Um, so over here I'm making my um, biscuits to top our biscuits and gravy casserole. In this bowl I have three cups of flour. I like extra black pepper on my biscuits. I do too. You know, know who else why. likes extra black pepper? I do know who. Our friend Rachel Ray. Yes, she does. <laughs> she loves black pepper. When we, we're always making um, salads in here for lunch and we'll have like black pepper and salt on it and she comes and like puts so much more black pepper on it. It's yeah. just one of her favorite seasonings yeah, and spices. It keeps spiciness. her spicy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now I'm going to add in some baking powder, nice. some baking soda, and a little bit of salt. Um, and just whisk that up. This gravy um, is so distracting. It's, does it I, smell really good too? I want to eat it. Oh, it smells so yummy. Um, so you just want to make sure you get all that nice and incorpor- incorporated. And now I'm going to add in the butter. I like to grate my butter on a box grater. I like that too. Because um, traditionally with biscuits, you would like chop up your butter and then like with your hands press it. But that kind of warms up the butter and it's not going to give your biscuits a very good rise. It's a great tip. So if you use the um, box grater, all you have to do is just sort of combine the butter with the flour. Mm-mm. Kristen commented and she said that she makes eggs in an avocado, which I love. I've never mm. made that, but I see it online a lot. So it looks like a great recipe. Um, and Denise says that she, um, she, could you use breakfast sausage patties instead for this? Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. Just chop them up, right? Yeah. That'd be what nice. What is any meat you want? Um, oh, and Sarah, chocolate gravy is warm runny pudding that you put on biscuits. Oh, wow. Whoa, Sarah. Sarah, that's Can you that's post crazy. that recipe? I think I need to try that. Yeah. Grant's right in the middle of making his biscuits. If you're just tuning in, we are right in the middle of our fun, easy, entertaining kind of make-ahead brunch. Yeah. Uh, show today. Grant's making his biscuits. Are you ready for my milk? I had I one am. job today. It was to pour the, is this buttermilk? So, yeah, this okay. is buttermilk. <laughs> we only need about a cup of it, I think, but okay. I put some extra because sometimes I need a little bit okay. more, but just pour that right into the just middle. Just this I'm just gonna, Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to stir it up. Um, and I like my biscuits on the wetter side, actually, because then we're going to throw them onto a board with some flour. Nice. How am I doing? 
You're doing a great job. I'm making You're biscuits, guys. Horror. Mom, are you watching? I'm making biscuits. I'm baking. I can't get the thought of that um, chocolate gravy out of my I know. Head. It sounds so good. I know. A little bit more, maybe. Okay. We want it to kind of come together a tiny bit. I think that's good. Nice. All right. We're going to see. Who did you learn how to make biscuits from? Um, my mom actually makes biscuits every Sunday. Oh, how nice. And funny story, she makes them for the dogs as well. Oh, yes. Tammy. She does. She puts them into like a, um, a bone shape. Oh. I don't know why She's they're so in a bone shape. She's so cute and creative. Um, I love your mom. Hi, Pam. Because I'm sure the dog would eat them if it was not in a bone <laughs> shape. Maybe a little bit more butter. We milk. all, I, I love uh, something about both of our families. We are like, we love our animals. <laughs> we'll do anything for those guys. Oh, goodness. That is coming together so nicely. All right. I think that's probably good. Okay. So now I'm just going to put a bunch Can of Can I flour. take a sip of my Irish coffee? I worked real hard yes, on those. <laughs> you earned it. So I'm just going to put that dough onto our board. It's nice. a little crumbly, but that's fine. It comes together, right? You yeah. just knead it for a little bit. Paula um, is up in Maine, one of my favorite states. So, so beautiful in Maine. And she thinks that we're awesome. Oh. We think you're awesome, Paula. I think you're awesome, Paula. <laughs> um, all right. You've got a little bit of kneading to do, and you're a little dirty. So actually, this is kind of a fun opportunity for me to do something kind of mean to you. Oh, what is um, it? Yesterday, we were celebrating um, peanut butter and jelly. And yes. um, we had, uh, we got, you know, you guys, peanut butter and jelly is one of our favorite things, one of your favorite things. We had a really fun day celebrating that. And one of our friends, her name was D.N. Sylvester. Was that her name? Ooh, that is her uh, name. I believe you so. You did a really great job. Thank you. That. I wrote it on a post-it and I forgot it at my desk. I, I think, believe your name was D.N. Sylvester. She, she commented and she said, we were trying all these wacky combinations of peanut butter and jelly. Um, Grant made me try peanut butter, jelly, and pickles, which... Um, we decided we didn't really like. Um, so today I'm going to make him try something that DN suggested yesterday. Ooh, she said to toast bread and put um, peanut butter on it and tomato. And Ooh. she said, don't knock it till you try it. So I was like, DN, we're going to try it. You ready? I was wondering why there was bread being toasted. Uh -huh. I was like, what is that bread I being mean, toasted I mean, I got a little for? toast under my seat. Hmm. Ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess I'll try it too. What do you think? I feel like there's peanut butter all over my face. There's not. Just okay. in the corner. You're okay. Um, it's good. I like it. I actually really like that. You know what? I was. I think the reason it's kind of good is because whenever I eat tomatoes, I put salt on them. Mm -hmm. It's like the salty peanut butter with the tomato. A little bit of sweet. And I love sweet and savory together. I just have to say that is way better than peanut butter and jelly and pickles. Yeah. I actually might. Th Deanne, thank you for writing in. And thank you guys for watching and always suggesting these really fun ideas. I agree. That was fun. I like that. Check out our little biscuits. Yay. And check out how dirty my hands are. <laughs> Um, so now you just take your biscuits and you top them so on awesome. top of your gravy. Carla commented and she said that apple butter is really wonderful on biscuits. I really like apple Ooh, butter. So, so yummy. You know, it's almost like, I don't know, this morning I woke up and felt a little fall in the air and I got really excited for like pumpkin season. That's coming too. I love yeah. like pumpkin lattes and pumpkin butter. So yummy. Pumpkin muffins. Um, pumpkin muffins. <laughs> Yvonne says hi from the Sunshine State. Hello in Florida. And she says our food looks yummy. Thank you very much. Um, and Billy said that we're making a great video and that he wishes he could cook like this. Billy, all these recipes are going to be posted on the on the website a little bit later. Make sure you come back and get them. And you can cook like this. All these recipes are super simple. Yeah, super easy. Oh, and Jasmine's watching from the Philippines. Hello, Jasmine. Never. Oh, so people from all over the I world are watching this. today. I love this. It's so cool. What a fun, what a fun Facebook live totally. today. Totally. Um, so now here's our biscuits oh. and gravy casserole. I'm going to pop that into the oven. As Rachel would say, that's a big baby. <laughs> that is a big baby. It's a baby that I almost need two arms to hold. <laughs> And I have one back here that's Yay, already done. exciting. Check that out. Oh. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. You okay? Yeah. All right. Do we need a spoon, a plate? What's happening? Are we eating it out of the casserole? Yeah, we're just eating <laughs> it out. <laughs> Feeling um, really here's aggressive Here's our biscuits right and gravy casserole already cooked. We have those golden brown biscuits on top. Warm soupy gravy underneath. Where? Do we have any spoons? I don't hey, know. BJ, can you hand me some spoons, please? <laughs> um, otherwise, I'm going to start eating it with the serving spoon. Yeah, look yummy. It does look really good. Check out those biscuits. They're super buttery and like puffy. Yeah. Um, I, I think I mentioned this uh, before too. You can make this ahead of time. Like yeah. this casserole, you can put this in the fridge before that. you bake it. And Thank the day you. you're having your people over, just pop it in the fridge. Oh, you brought your own spoon. <laughs> this is VJ, guys. <laughs> We're just going to eat it out of here? Yeah, let's yes. just go. Come on. Um, you're getting a real glimpse into our everyday lives now behind the Rachel Ray Show prep kitchen. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, Grant. Oh, this looks really hot. Oh, it looks real hot. It's day two of Grant making me eat flaming hot foods. And I oh, our friend it. Sunny Anderson is watching. Sunny. Hello, Sunny. <laughs> um, and she asked what my favorite kind of turkey is. Tell him. Stank turkey. Stank turkey, girl. Can't tell you why. It's a little bit of an inside joke. Um, but thank you for watching. So Hi, that's Sunny. Fun. Oh, we love her. We were just talking about her yesterday when we were doing peanut butter and jelly things because mm -hmm. she's got a slow cooker peanut butter and jelly dip on the on the website and um, peanut butter and jelly style chicken wings, actually. And somebody yeah. had said chicken wings... Sunny's got a great recipe for that. Head to the website. I'm going to take a bite. Is this like flaming hot? It's really hot and really delicious. Mm. BJ, what did you think? Delicious. 
so she loved good. That. Um, wow. so I love that. as we're tasting this, we're just gonna eat for a while and yeah. talk to you guys. Hi. Um, on Tuesday, <laughs> we're gonna make a um, or Jeanette's gonna make a surprise meal. I am. I'm gonna surprise her with some ingredients. So comment below and let us know Ooh. what um, ingredients you want me to surprise her with, mm. and she'll make a surprise be meal. Be nice, please. That's gonna be really fun. I'm excited. I really like cooking with chicken. So if someone wanted to say something about chicken, that'd be really nice. He's gonna mm. pick beef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Penny said her biscuits always turn out like a rock. You should try this recipe, Penny, because it actually really, really is super easy. Um, grating the butter and keeping it cool. I think that'll prevent your. Um... And you don't overneat it, right? Yeah. That's also don't overneat it. I get it. Um, but if you are, if you don't want to make homemade biscuits, you can totally use biscuit mix and pop that on top. Too. I just got a note from our friend Emily who said Jeanette, stop cheating. Jeanette, no cheating. <laughs> such a I cheater. won't read the comments, guys. So make sure you comment with some fun things that you've got in your pantry. And I'm gonna do my best to make a 15 minute meal. Hopefully you have to come back on Tuesday. Hopefully, hopefully I make it work. Um, yeah. Are so you this gonna help me? Super. Oh, Sunny commented again. Said y'all look great. Uh, y'all look great. Oh, Wants thanks, a Sunny. pan full of biscuits. Come on over, Sunny. Come on over. Hop on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> They're here for you. Hail a cab. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys for watching. Um, we're gonna be back on Tuesday. Like yes. I said, Jeanette's gonna make a surprise meal. Hopefully. <laughs> um, so comment and let us know what ingredients you want her to cook with. All these recipes are going to be on the Facebook page yes. later today. So make sure you check those out. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you comment, share, and cook. Bye. Cheers. Was that, was that right? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>